All right. Let's see what we have here. We are going to look at tinted glass and more specifically tinted glass with a gradient in. So let's look what we have received. I have a co-worker, she created this uh, set of glasses for me. And, or not for me, she was creating them and then she was uh, wondering how to get the, the glass pieces having a good gradient and as you can see the glass here is completely black and what she did was have a glass material created from a physically based one and then a gradient texture so let's first have a look at why this glass is, is black or it looks like it's not transparent at all and it is because the base color is set to black and and the color you set here in the base color when you want to have a transparent material like like a glass this base color works like a filter and uh, the lighter the color the more gets through and since black um, essentially uh, holds everything filters everything you don't get anything going through so that's why these glasses here look completely black <coughs> um, before I continue I'm actually going to change the crown plane to have a material because with uh, transparent materials our crown plane is not very good in my opinion uh, I prefer uh, just uh, ground planes or, or some object with a good material on instead of the shadows only ground plane So back to our uh, material class material so um, For a material or glass material to have uh, tinted so darker on the top lighter on the bottom in this case uh, you want to have a texture actually in the base color uh, base color channel instead of driving the uh, the opacity amount so we could now actually quickly change this black one to white and white means completely transparent and it's not very visible but you can see here not as much transparent and towards the bottom more transparent so uh, that's the driving of of the uh, opacity channel so what i would do to fix this to make it work correctly is to not use the texture here just make start by making the uh, uh, glass entirely transparent so set opacity to zero and let's let's start with the base color uh, white now we're going to put the gradient texture in in the base color uh, slot so we just grab and move the texture from the uh, opacity channel into the base color channel and now we can already see how this is going to work. So we have now, uh, there's apparently a bit confusion in, in the UV mapping, so we're going to fix it in a moment. But we have on the one side of the gradient, we have the black and the other side, the white. And black, as I said, means essentially blocking all light going through. So when we rotate the view so that the blackest part is at the bottom, you can see notice that, that that we can't see the uh, uh, the leg of the uh, of, of the glasses so if you still want to have darker in a kind of black way uh, instead of using pure black just 
to use a lighter uh, lighter version so if we look at uh, this texture here uh, we use the black here so uh, with this kind of uh, transparent materials I like to pick the color that is quite close to the, the tint I'd like and then just increase the lightness so just move this up to a lighter gray let's say 100 close to 190 you can already see it's a nice looking gradient here so let's let's now fix the uh, texture mapping here let's show the texture mapping so essentially it's correct other than it's it's the, the wrong way around so let's just rotate this 180 degrees so that the uh, the darker part is on top now and the lighter part at the bottom and the other class we are going to essentially copy the mapping from uh, from the right class so we are using match mapping and we select the source object and now you can see that we have both classes now using the same mapping and for this class we can now hide the mapping we don't need to see that anymore so a lighter color of the version you want you can achieve by using the lightness slider so the HSL color wheel is what we then use and then just pick the color you want and make it lighter so for instance I'm going to change the top color to a more orange orange color and we can see it's quite dark at the moment so if I bump up the lightness we can see a bit better through it like so so for clear glass you need uh, pure white so all the sliders to the right at least for the RGB and if you want no no light through make it completely black anything in between as various degrees of, of uh, amounts of light traveling through now let's let's do one more part so a, a blue quite dark blue at the, at this point um, let let me select it now and then we are going to go what's a bit like this maybe even go darker with the blue so it becomes more obvious that the light is getting blocked so it's not getting through that well and if we now pump up the lightness and you can go really really light and still maintain a hint of that color you want like this so now we have our glasses with an orangey top and a blue bluish shade at the top uh, at the bottom and this way you can do tinted glasses with rhino and physically based materials I hope that was uh, clear enough for you so uh, as a quick uh, recap again uh, colors with or maybe you could could have it like this understand it like this with RGB all to the left you get black uh, so the lower the channel is the less light essentially uh, passes through for that for that net channel uh, pick a color you like and then bump up in the HSL color wheel the the lightness uh, slider that way you can get a tinted glass that's close to the tint you like if you want really dark then you have to uh, essentially be aware that or accept that the amount of light passing through is going to be a little bit less just make sure that you pick values that together are bright enough or, or, or high enough so that enough light gets through 
So thanks again to Vanessa for creating this model and for asking the question. Uh, I hope you have a bit clearer idea of how to make tinted glass in Rhino. Thanks for watching. Now if I can find the stop button, that would be great.